Hi, my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back. So today's gonna be a little bit different. I apologize for the noise downstairs. My nephew, my nieces are here for right now, but here for right now, that makes no sense. They're staying with us for a couple of more days. So this is a little bit different than the videos that I usually make. We are doing a girl video. You guys ask me all the time about my skincare and what I do for my skin. And here's the thing, really not so much. I wash my face, don't judge me. I really only ever wash my face with either olive oil or grapeseed oil to take off my makeup or to wash it. And then as toner, I'll use a rose water spray. And recently I've been using rose water with apple cider vinegar, but it's kind of been drying out my skin and making it a little bit ruddy. So that's probably better for the summer when it's humid. I'm probably just gonna go back to regular rose water. And then a vitamin E or vitamin C, some sort of natural moisturizer on top of it. And that's really all I do for my skin. I mean, I drink a ton of water and I eat extremely healthy. I do a ton of vegetables and some fruit throughout the day. I don't eat any meat and I quit smoking years and years and years ago. Not that I ever should have started, but, and I exercise, so I sweat a lot. And basically that's it. That's what keeps my skin pretty healthy. I do have a little bit of a breakout going on right now, which is very abnormal for me here and here. First of all, it's the holidays. So since Thanksgiving, it's almost Christmas. We're like less than a week before Christmas. Since Thanksgiving, my eating's been a little bit off. I've been indulging in some chocolates and that kind of stuff. So that has caused an issue as well as I had to start moisturizer, a, diff a serum type of a thing for this peel that we're about to do. And that's what this video is about because since I hit my fourth decade, I'm trying to start taking my skincare a little bit more seriously. And the last time I was at my dermatologist, she asked me if I had been in the sun a lot. And I said, well, I was in my prime, my early twenties in the early 2000s. And that's when we lived in the tanning beds. Sex and the city era, we were all orange. My God, we would tan so much. So, I have a lot of sun damage and I'm starting to get a little bit of melasma here and in here. The thing is, melasma is hormonal, but it also comes out, it's triggered by the heat. So you can't see it as bad as it usually comes out in the summer right now because we're in the winter, but you can see a little bit of it. I'll pop up there. I took video of my face up close and personal Ooh, yesterday. I have some, I have one huge, pour here. I have a little melasma here. I have a lot of pores going on here. I have this weird white scar thing here. I don't know if that's melasma, if it's something that I had popped. I'm really bad with picking my face. If I have something white on there, it's got to go. In fact, in that footage that I posted up there, I have a red patch here. That's because I had milia on my face, which is, I don't know if you guys ever see this, but it's the pimples that are the whiteheads that get stuck under your skin and you actually have to pop them out. I had one of those there and I just couldn't let it go. I was trying so hard to let it go for this peel because I thought I was getting it done in the office, but I was able to pop it out without having to poke through my skin so it didn't cause a scab. So that's why I was red there. That's not my usual skin. And I have a birthmark thing here. I don't know if the peel is gonna get that off, probably not, because I've had that since I was eight years old. I can't imagine that that's melasma. I'm starting to get that discoloration a little bit. So. I went to New York this morning to go in 15 degree weather, by the way, that was no fun. I actually drove into Jersey City, parked the car, took an Uber in, and then had to walk a couple blocks and took the train home. And I was so excited to get all kinds of footage for you guys, but when it's that cold, your whole mission is to just get done as quickly as possible. It was freezing and I really wasn't dressed too appropriately. I apologize for what I'm wearing. I'm just putting this on before bed. I went into the office and she told me there are two options. I could have gotten the Rev Peel, which is, it does hit melasma, but it also is more for acne. Or I could have gone with the Alighten Peel and the Rev she puts on in the office. You leave it on your skin for about four hours and then you wash it off and you'll get a little bit red and you start peeling within three or four days. The Enlighten Peel is, you put that on yourself at night. It sits on your skin, it's like a mask. It sits on your skin for 10 hours. That one treats melasma better. They both treat melasma and acne, but one treats acne, acne more and the other one treats the melasma more. And that's what I'm going for because even though I have this little breakout, that's not normal for me. So I went with the Enlighten. I'm taking it home, obviously, it's here. She gave me a pair of gloves and then it comes with instructions. She also emailed me instructions and then it comes with 
this three or four step process. She gave me some gauze so I can put on step one, which is the prep solution that cleans the skin. She said, use the gauze, just kind of fold it into fours. And she said, really, 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 really clean the skin well. And then this is part two. This is the peel itself. That's gonna be the go big or go home. That's the main player in this. And she gave me this to get it out of there. It has this little seal, but she broke it to show me. That's what it looks like. It's like an orange color. It's, it's like a little bit sticky. Great, now the skin on my fingers is gonna peel off. Let's get that off there real quick. Then we have step three, which is, well, actually three and four kind of go together. These are aftercare. That mask is gonna sit on my skin for 10 hours. She's like, set an alarm. If you put it on at eight o'clock at night, you gotta set your alarm for six o'clock in the morning. It has to be 10 hours. I guess she left hers on longer and she, when she tried it on herself and she had a really, really, really bad reaction. She had to get like all kinds of hydrocortisone creams and everything to get it off. So. That's gonna sit on my skin. We're gonna put that on together for 10 hours and then we'll wash it off together tomorrow morning. But then in between, once that's off, you start using the retinol and this hydro, hydro quinone, I don't know, hydroquinone or something. They go on together and twice a day, morning and night, both of these, cause that's gonna enhance the peeling. I don't know if anyone's ever used retinol. I've used retinol before and it really does, it peels like you had a sunburn. This is the aftercare. This one is the cleanser, which that's all you're gonna wash your face with right now during this process. Then number two is, let's take it out of the bag so you can see. The cleanser, step one. Sorry, I have it up to autofocus on my face. Step two is gonna be soothing balm. So she said the parts when they peel, the parts that are the fresh skin, you're gonna put this on to soothe it, but you're not gonna put it all over your whole face. You're gonna leave the part that hasn't peeled yet because it's not gonna peel off like in one sheet, of course. It's gonna peel off just like a sunburn. So that's step two. And then step three is sunscreen because you're going to need to use sunscreen constantly during this process because you're going to have baby fresh skin. She also emailed me the directions. She's like, you can't really mess it up. But just in case, those are the directions. So right now it's 830. I don't want to do this until 10 o'clock because if I put it on at 10 o'clock, then I can sleep through until eight. And that's usually when I get up because I have off of work tomorrow. So we're going to Stop this right now. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I had to use a prep cream. That was the exact same thing as this. It was just a prep cream to prep my skin for two weeks before this, because we thought originally I was gonna get the Rev Peel. So I was gonna use this for that. She's like, it doesn't matter. It didn't do anything harmful to your skin. It's just gonna help the peel. You don't need it. And that's all this was. I put that on twice a day for two weeks, morning and night before, well, technically before if I got the Rev Peel, but I already did that because that's what we thought we were getting. And that this is just melasma minimizing hydroquinone, quinine, I don't know how to say it. Q U hydro Q U I N O N E 2%. So there's that. And I'll be back from the bathroom. That's why I'm wearing this kind of beat up old dingy, shirt because I have to sleep in that mask. So I don't want to get orange anywhere. She just said, kind of lay a towel down, try not to move in your sleep. I sleep on my face all over the place. So, I mean, it is what it is. When I had my septum done, I just kind of piled pillows around me so I could hold on to them. So I kind of like, it stopped me from rolling over and I'll just take CBD and try to knock myself out. So I will be back. Okay, hey, I think I got it everywhere. I have one big pore here that I was really trying to get. She told me to put Vaseline like on the corners of my lips and my eyes so we don't get it too close to there. I was trying to get it really good on the melasma here, the melasma here. I had some keratosis right here that the doctor tried to get off and it made a scar so I tried to get a lot there. Be back in town.
Okay, just a quick update. We are at day one. So I did it at eight o'clock last night. It is now seven o'clock the following day. I wasn't expecting to peel so early, but we've got a lot of peeling going on around the mouth and the nose area. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's go by the light now. This one big pore right here, it's not really transpiring onto camera, but I have one pore here that I've been trying to get to go away for years. So hopefully that'll go. And I have pores here. So I put a decent amount of the peel here. So if that's starting to peel, I had keratosis here and I went to a different dermatologist. It was a guy and I don't think he was worried about vanity or anything like that. So he left me with like a puffy scar there. So I was hoping that came off. And then I had a white spot here. You could see where I have my melasma. It's starting to get darker. Like there was melasma there, melasma here. It's all getting darker before it falls off. So yeah, what are we at? 23 hours? I know, I said I put it on at eight o'clock. I put it at 10 o'clock last night and it's now seven o'clock the following day. You could see how dry. So you have like extra lines here. I really only expected to be red today. I didn't expect to be so, to peel so much already. Really cool. I just put Vaseline on my lips because they were dry. This is where we're at. It feels like I got an awful sunburn. It's totally tolerable. Probably like on a scale of one to 10, a three out of pain. Now, I shouldn't be doing a video with gum in my mouth, I'm sorry. But I have an extremely, extremely high pain tolerance from all of my fitness stuff and working out stuff for all of the years. So it might be a little bit more painful for other people. But for me, I'd say it's like a two or a three. It's really not that bad. It's just very, very hot. It, it's literally like a sunburn. So that's it, just a check-in, day one. Okay, so it is 8.47. So we're almost at 24 hours after I washed it off. And very swollen, I woke up very swollen, very tight. Like I feel like this is, this talking like this is enough anymore. I feel like I'm gonna rip my skin. And I'm being quiet because the kids are still sleeping, but it almost feels like <laughs> my face is not my own face, if that makes sense. It almost feels like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like my face is not my face. Like this is really tight. This is so tight. This is tight. It feels like when you have a mask on that dries and it dries tight so you can't move your face, but it's my skin. I guess that's why it feels like my face is not my face. It feels like the top layer of skin is not my real face. It's a lot more red in person red dry i woke up a couple times in the middle of the night itching my face and i had to stop because i don't want to break my skin of course you can see the peeling's really starting that's really cool you can see the areas where i didn't put the mask i want this white spot to go i don't know if it's gonna go but i'll put a little more retinol there so that's my check-in morning of day two Day four and five are supposed to be the worst as far as peeling, so we'll see. It is, what's today? Day two at 9.30 at night. I'm really swollen in here, really, really swollen. The peeling's starting to get bad and you could see the red. It's funny, you could see the corners of my lips really well where I did not put the mask for the peel because obviously you don't want your mouth to crack but it's really starting to get itchy, really itchy. I keep patting my face like this because I can't scratch it, of course. I went to go get my hair done tonight, dried frizzy, but I went to go get it colored and they were saying that it wasn't so bad. I think trying to make me feel better, but you could see it's also aging me with my skin so dry because you could see like, it's causing lines, but that's just because my skin's really dry. It's gonna peel and it's gonna be like baby fresh and baby soft. So it's what we got right now. Really show what's going on. Day two down, or at day three, really starting to peel. I know it looks worse today, but it feels better today. It's not as tight as it was, probably because this layer is not all one anymore. It's flaking off. I'm really swollen in here. I just iced myself. I'm really swollen in here, really swollen in here. You can see the top of my eyes don't look like my normal eyes. This is melasma. You can see it's coming off. You can see that baby skin underneath. This is not, this is hair dye that she got on me yesterday. That's not blood or anything. This is all hair dye. See the white where that's my skin that didn't get the mask? You could see it's all tight in here. It's gonna peel here. 
this is starting to peel. So I'm a little at the point where I'm like frustrated because I want to do stuff and go out, even though everyone's like, oh, you can't tell. You can tell. But here's day three. Morning, by the way. It's 10.10 10 in the morning. I'm gonna go wash it. Maybe I can get some of this skin off and then put the everyday treatments on. This looks like it's gonna peel. Okay, love you guys. This is day four. This is pretty bad. My brother told me last night my face is freaking him out. <laughs> it's just really dry. Like, I'm just over it. I'm ready for this to come off so I can continue and resume my life because it is the day before Christmas Eve. This side isn't as bad. You could see the melasma cracking and trying to come off. This is disgusting. I'm gonna have to really hide my face today because I have to there, I have to go out and buy food for Christmas and I can't peel. But I can use this cleanser. There it is. I can use this cleanser in the shower. Hopefully that'll get some of this off. You can't pull or peel because that can actually cause worse pigmentation. It can cause damage to the skin underneath the baby skin. So you just have to deal. But it doesn't hurt. It's just really, really, really dry and tight here. Last night we drank some wine and I was laughing and I kept having to hold my face like chubby wubby while I was laughing because I didn't want to break my skin. So day four, 10 o'clock in the morning and this is what we look like. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Oh my god we're just a couple minutes later. Just got out of the shower and that soap was life-changing. I got so much of it off. So Still kind of dry in here, in here, little spots here, but I'm so much more comfortable going out in public today because it really just looks like I have very, very dry skin from the winter and not like my face is falling off. So big difference, but still pretty swollen, very swollen, but we're getting there. So all in all, day three is absolutely the worst, just like I was told, just like everybody says, day three was the worst day. This is day four and we're getting so much better. Okay, good morning loves. Today is day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five. And you could see we're still a little dry, but most of the big peels have come off. Scrubbing in the shower has been very helpful to get that off, but you could see my skin's really tight. Like it's hard to bite. That's as far as I can open my mouth or smile really dry and tight. So I was getting like a little annoyed yesterday and I looked at the pamphlet and it says what to expect on here and here and here it says after about a week you'll see the skin beginning to look brighter and more even in tone so we're not at a week yet and then this other one says the results will continue to improve you should see full results in four weeks once you complete the accompanied home care products so it's a long 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 process i didn't know it was going to be this long but that's okay it's worth it you could see i still have a lot of discoloration to peel off here see my mole is a lot lighter all of this I'm really dry this is melasma I don't know if it's going to come off if we're going to need a second one but oh God, I don't want to do this again <laughs> but one thing to keep in mind is that you do not want to do this in the summer because yesterday I have tons of sunblock it comes with the kit but yesterday I was just wearing errands and it was actually 50 degrees which is crazy because today is Christmas Eve in December in New Jersey but just the sun was really strong in my car and the heat of it was really burning me yesterday was probably the most painful day and today it doesn't hurt at all it's just really super dry but I just got out of the shower and I was able to scrub off a lot of that peeling on my nose but I have to put the retinol and the other cream on that's the worst part if you do that twice a day for four weeks or until that's all gone and I have to ask the doctor if I could put something moisturizing on in between probably not because you want it to keep peeling but it's so tight Okay, that's my update for you guys. We're getting there. It will all be worth it, I promise. Okay, guys, day five. This is Christmas Day. You can see, I've got some red going on here. Still dry, but so much better. It's very tight. But it's looking good. Good morning, friends. Today is day six seven tomorrow will be one week i put it on last thursday at 10 o'clock at night and this is thursday morning at 11 o'clock in the morning 
my skin looks so beautiful so i just showered today was the first time i went back to the gym and i was sweating it was a hard workout and probably halfway three quarters of the way through the workout i thought my face feels good it's not burning it's not itching nothing and then my next thought was oh no here we go i just put it in my own head but it went right out of my head i wasn't fixated on it i didn't feel it at all which was great i thought maybe the sweat or the heat or something would maybe cause some irritation nothing at all so i think we're good you could still see the discoloration from where we're still peeling i went to the gym i was still pretty dry and flaky in parts i showered i washed it with the cleanser then actually today was the first day i used toner so i did a rose water and apple cider vinegar toner it burned i don't know if i'm supposed to be putting on lotion or not i have to get in touch with the girl who does it we were supposed to connect on instagram but i don't think we were connected so i think my direct messages are going to her like other box so she isn't getting them so i'm gonna have my sister who is connected they've messaged before just ask her if i should put moisturizer on with this or if i'm like literally trying to make my skin the sahara desert for four weeks which is kind of scary but anyway i put on the retinol i put on the hydroquinone i think that's how you say it and then serum that's for just to kind of calm it and then their sunblock which is really strong because you can smell it and it's got a little bit of a tinted moisturizer in it so this is what we look like today beautiful the pore is gone yay so you can see up close it's still a little peely this part is still just trying to even itself out and then look how much it lightened this mole I had two moles here. One is almost gone. And then it got rid of that. I had discoloration here. I got rid of that. It says after a week, your skin's going to improve. But after four weeks, you're going to see the biggest difference. So here we are at almost one. Hi, loves. It has been a month since the last time I gave you an update on my face. Four weeks later, you will see the best results. And I have to say, it does look a lot better. So I am home sick today. Let's put this down. I'm homesick today, so probably not the best day to show my skin, but it is so much more clear. It is so soft. I've gotten so many compliments on my skin. I showed you on my Instagram. I didn't show you on YouTube, but the other night I had makeup on and I only had two minutes before This Is Us started, and that's the only show that I watch. This Is Us and The Handmaid's Tale. So I took a cotton ball and toner to take my makeup off while I was watching TV. And unfortunately I gave myself a little bit of burn because I didn't realize there was hyaluronic or glycolic acid in there. So I had huge red marks on my eyes. My eyes were killing the next day and just some spots. You could see like red spot there. That's not normally there, but Overall, I loved the peel. I will eventually need another one because I had a lot of damage. I tanned almost every day in tanning beds for years, years, because they used to tell us they were good for us. So I started when I was, I think, 18, up until I was 28 because I was competing in fitness at that point and we needed our skin really, really dark which I never did it, but I have a lot of sun damage on my face as well as all the years that I spent at the beach at the Jersey Shore. So I will need a couple of more. I am not trying to go back anytime soon because it was a process. She told me I could go on a Thursday and be back at work by Monday. Well, I put this on on Thursday night and it probably took me until about Wednesday to start feeling comfortable showing my face. I would personally feel the most confident if I had a whole entire week off of work or a whole entire week where I'm not showing my face. Just keep that in mind if you choose to do it. I think it's amazing. Next time I will look at a laser peel versus a chemical peel just because I don't want to have to keep putting chemicals on my skin, not only to do the peel, which is fine, but also for a month after. We'll see about that too. I will keep you guys posted, but overall I give this an 8 out of 10. My skin's not perfect. Like I want baby doll porcelain don't need foundation type of skin. And we're not there yet, but we're getting there. And I will continue to make my skincare a priority. You could see under here even got a lot lighter from the skin lightening cream that I was using. This melasma's all gone. This melasma's all gone. That, come on. See, this was all a lot more ruddy this looks great. That pore is almost all the way gone. This came down a lot. These pores here came down a lot. So I'll show you a before and after side by side. So let's do that. I also haven't been eating the healthiest ever since Christmas. So that also plays a factor into my skin. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey. My Long Island just came out. One another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you lots of love from my heart to all of yours i'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.